I want to share with you tonight on week number 12. This is, as I said, the final week uh, of this 12 week course that's been on purpose and vision as kingdom ambassadors. It's been an overview course, 12 weeks. And this week is the final week. We're going to be giving a test in a minute. Stay tuned. And also giving certificates. Stay tuned. We're going to talk tonight about your potential, whether the devil likes it or not. <laughs> We're going to talk about your potential. And what does that really mean? The dictionary defines your potential as having or showing the capacity to become or develop into something. That's the dictionary's definition of the word potential. Let me say it again. The dictionary definition of potential is having are showing the capacity to become or to develop into something. Now that's nice, but the Bible definition I like better because it's more accurate in line with what God says. And let me say this first though, we get the word potent from the word potential. And potent means Great power, influence, or to affect. Wow. So you are potent. You have great potential. But the devil's going to constantly try to keep that from you with circumstances and circumstances and situations. So the biblical definition of the word potential is promise. And the word possible. Promise and possible. And the word possible isn't just talking as in might be. But possible in the biblical definition is defined as available capacity. Wow. I am convinced I have not fully discovered my full capacity yet. How about you? I'm still on the journey and finding out there's a whole lot more increase that is available inside of me. So let me just say this again. The biblical definition of the word potential is promise. And the word possible as in absolute available capacity. Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't that something? All the promises, it says in 2 Corinthians 1.20, all of the promises of God in him are yes and in him, amen. Let's read it this way. All of the potential of God, woo, in him are yes and amen. The word amen is what? So be it. So God has said it. It's an absolute. Everybody say absolute. absolute. It's an absolute. Not a maybe. Not a might. But the promises of God are yes and so be it. Unto the glory of God by us. Matthew 19 and 26. Look at this. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is what? Impossible impossible all the laws of physics all of the you know we can't possibly no but <laughs> with god say it with me all things are possible and the word possible there remember we said potential has the word potent in it the word possible in the greek is dinatos and it equals Powerful. Woo, I'm getting ready to shout here. Mm -hmm. It is time activated dynamite. Wow. When are you going to explode? <laughs> the devil has no idea. But when you do, it'll be God. Your potential is getting ready like a powder keg to explode. Amen. That's why we have a passion for this school. The Destiny Group Mentor School, because we want help to help people see 
the, the power of God and the promise of God and the potential of God that is in their purpose. That is, you know, none of us have arrived yet. Amen. We're all going from glory to glory. Amen? Amen? We need to understand that our potential, now get this, our potential is only limited through self-imposed doubt in our ability. We need to tap our potential. And there's plenty I know of obstacles in the way. But as we said, our potential is only really limited through our self-imposed doubt in our ability. But God is great in you. He can do through you what you can't do. And he really wants to. Isn't that, what, isn't that great? Romans 4, 20 and 21. He, Abraham, staggered not at what? The promise, the potential, the possibility of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had what? Promised, he was able to perform. Now, let me just share this with you as we kind of skip down a little bit tonight. And again, read all of this on the study sheet. A lot of good stuff there. Your potential or your promise is growing into God's capacity in you. We're not fitting him into ours. Potential is inevitable. Are you ready for this? Your potential is already activated. But it could be misappropriated. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. I love this scripture. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. That by these ye might be what? Partakers, Partakers of his divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. I am a partaker of his potential. His potential becomes my potential. But his potential is already done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. God isn't working at it. Yeah. <laughs> He's there. But I'm working at coming into him. So his potential becomes mine, but his is already done. Now let me say this and then I'm going to kind of close this part. Was this good? Did you all get this? We need to understand the pronouncement, the proclamation, and the provision of our potential. Point number three. We need to understand the pronouncement, the proclamation, and the provision of our potential. Now look at this. Your potential is not going to suddenly appear all, all by itself. <laughs> we have to work together with God. We often say, God, you do it. And God says, I did do it. <laughs> and you're it. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I put all my potential in you. Now I want you to do it. And of course, I'll be here to be your strength. Remember, as we said, potential is also the word possible. And the word possible is the Greek word dynatos, where we also get dunamis, the Holy Ghost anointing and power. So dino, dynatos equals power and time activated dynamite. So let's look at this. Potential is wrapped up in these three things. Pronouncement, Hebrews 6, 17, wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. Pro, here we go with the pros again, announcement. It's a pro announcement. He announces it before it's manifested. Hallelujah. So your potential has been announced. It's in the air. Pro. It's in the atmosphere. Number two, or letter B, proclamation. 
Your potential has a proclamation. It's a pro-claim. Pro-claim. Asian. 1 John 3, 2. Beloved, now are we what? The sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So we are proclaimed. God proclaims you. Beloved, now you're like you are the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what you shall be, but when he shall appear. So some people will say, yes, amen, in the sweet by and by when Jesus comes in the cloud. Thank God for that. That's that's coming. Mm -hmm. But that's not what this scripture is yes, talking yes. about. This scripture is talking about every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does God show you a little more of himself yes, every, day? every day? And when he shows you himself, you see more of yourself. Mm -hmm. And then number three, or letter C, potential involves provision. Wait a minute, Dr. Rick, isn't that money for my needs? Provision is more than just money. Yeah. It's pro- to the vision. It's pro potential. Are you ready for this? God invests in you before you believe in you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. He invested everything into you before you even believe in you. Mm -hmm. Pro vision. Philippians 419. But my God shall supply all your need. Mm -hmm. Not plural. Need. Singular. What is my need? To reach my potential. My God shall supply all your need according to what? His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, provision is prophetic. I hope you'll get this. When God supplies your need, it may take care of today, but it was actually invested in you for tomorrow. It's not pro pay the rent. Although, thank God it pays the rent. <laughs> but it's pro what? Vision. So he is investing in you all the supply of everything you need to get your vision accomplished. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. That is part of your potential. God has invested in you. Are you ready for this? It's kind of like an earnest down payment. If God were to give you everything right now, mm -hmm. could you handle it? Mm -hmm. We want to say, yes, I'm on. But really? I'm glad he kind of takes this in steps. Because the more I find out that that treasure's in me, really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He goes, I'm glad I didn't show you the whole thing. Although it's all there for when you're ready to open the vault. Amen. Your potential scares the devil. Your potential is a threat to the devil and ignorance and darkness. Your potential is about to rise out of obscurity. Amen. God is going to do things through us that we never even dreamed we could do as we get to know who we are. So it's a promise. And he says, I don't break my promises. I will perform it if you'll come into agreement with me. And I wanted to share that with you tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. I need to come up and share a word. <laughs> I wanted to cap, recap on all that we have said, but to bring it together with our, well, with our leader here, <laughs> <laughs> I am going to tie it to that potential. You know, so I was sitting there, um, the potential that we have is so big, we can't see it. Mm -hmm. God can see it, but he wants us to start seeing some of that. So the potential is exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Yeah. Amen. So we are just beginning to discover that potential Amen. that God has in our lives. So some of the things that we spoke about, at, at least with my, with what I shared, is that we are all ambassadors of the good news. Amen. Amen. We are ambassadors of goodwill. See, if we all operate in that, mm -hmm. the glory of God will be manifest on the earth. Amen. 
And that's what he wants. That's what he wants us to do, to manifest his glory through being an ambassadors of goodwill. Amen. Yeah. Sharing the love of the Father, just like Jesus did. That's why he's our example. He's the greatest example. And bringing heaven to earth. We're agents of change. Yeah. Amen. You know, when you have an agent that changes things, then we have that potential. Mm -hmm. So we have the potential. I mean, if we have the potential to bring heaven to earth, that's huge. Yeah. yeah. And that's why when we bring that love, people will receive it. Amen. Sometimes we don't, uh, we don't see it right then. That's right. That's why the Bible says some water, mm -hmm. some plant and some water. But God is the gives one that gives the increase. increase. Amen. Because he 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 wants to work he wants us to feel so good about ourselves Amen. in him that we don't have to get the credit yeah for whoever receives the kingdom we need to just rejoice every day in him for for um have brought us this privilege of being the children of god on this earth because why are we here for <laughs> we're here for to manifest his glory yes so that others can see it and and we're thinking well what is this all for because we lost something yeah. yeah when you think about losses you think i gotta i gotta recuperate that loss somehow <laughs> because god doesn't let us just lose something for nothing mm -hmm. he has a plan so we lost something but the, the bible says and this is my last point that Jesus came mm -hmm. so that we can recover yeah. all that were, was lost. Mm -hmm. But he left us with that commission. He says, we're not, we're not just a little group of two or three or the 12 that he had or the 300 and some that followed yeah. him while he was here or even more, 3,000. Of the, of what added to the church later but it's, it's more than that that's why 2,000 years from when he was here we're still talking about yeah. him yeah. and the good news of this message of the Lord will reach everyone Amen. and then the end will Amen. come so we just praise God that you are here with us that you're there with us and Amen. we are receiving this word and just remember your potential is to be an agent of change Amen. for God. Amen. Go get the downloadable test sheet, especially those that view that paid uh, for a certificate of completion. We need the test so that we can give you your credit. Okay. I'm going to tell you, maybe this is a testimony somebody needs. When God uh, began to deal with my heart about starting the Destiny Group Mentor School. I probably, like you, wanted all the results of what might happen ahead of time. But that's not what God does. That's not how he works. He says, obey. And when you obey, it's because you trust him. And so I've had the joy over 45 years so far, now it's 46, of having the honor of standing before several hundred people and just a few people. And I've known what it is to, to be before government officials and by uh, people that didn't have much at all. So I know what it is over these years to not look at opportunity in form of size. You know, there was a time our church when I was pastoring was very large. Then there was a time when it wasn't but you still have to give the same excellence you still have to obey god no matter who is listening and i'm going to tell you sometimes you might feel like nobody's listening but if you still perform the same excellence when nobody cares god does and at some point i'm telling you he will take that obedience and he will bless you with a harvest and so we, when I first got God, God telling me about this school and calling it the Destiny Group, I didn't come up with that name. I wasn't even thinking about it. But yeah. the Destiny Group says it. We are a group of people on a destiny called our purpose in the kingdom of God. And when he first gave that 
and then began to say it's going to be a mentor school with classes and everything, I thought, wow, I don't, I, I, I've stepped out and done a lot of things, but you know, honey, as, I, as we get older, I used to leap, now I just kind of step out. I used to leap into things, now I'm kind of like, well, let's yes. pray about this. Yeah. I still have great faith, but I just like to make sure that, it's you know, we're going to be effective and see things through. But at first, I have my, one of my questions was, God, who's going to take these classes? Who's going to take these classes? Hmm? And what the Lord said to me was, if it, even if it appears like there's few, when you first start, this is going to go international. And I believe into all 50 states. And actually, uh, Dr. Miles Monroe prophesied that years ago and I didn't connect it to the school mm -hmm. but I can see it now did you have some yeah I wanted to say that we're taking the know, test here take the test there yeah that um, in, in all those times that we pastors several churches we uh, build buildings um, did a lot of ministry we travel so it's, you know 40, 40 some years or something. that's a long time to do that and I just want to speak to, to those that have, um, and all of us, I think, can relate to that in some way or another, all that God has done in our lives and all the, the things that he has brought us through, all the ministries, the churches, uh, the ups and the downs of ministry, of family life, of our children, uh, them going this way or that way or, you know. Uh, well, our son uh, Jay, he stayed. The, he stayed the course, right? Um, you don't know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he said you don't know that for sure. Uh, oh yes, I do. I prayed for you, my son. But um, but you know that the God that don't feel bad because sometimes we feel like oh I wasted all this time doing this and I didn't know this and it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. you know what God is able to bring us to the time yes in other words to make up for all that time yeah. not only that but everything that god did in your life that you learned in your life that you went through is building yeah and god goes on from there so don't feel like you have wasted the the time yeah because that's what the, the enemy that's the guilt and the weapon that he uses on yeah, us that's right but we don't have to think that way we know that whatever we left off god picked up for us Amen. and god Amen. will continue to do that so that all the stuff that the canker and the worm has eaten will be restored to amen. us because amen. that's what God's word says. Amen. 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 Yay. Yeah. Speaking, spoken from a woman who knows what she's talking about. I'll tell you. take the test are you taking it now so we can know whether or not we can start with uh, giving some of the answers because we want you to score your own test we will be sending you your certificate of completion and we'll show you what that looks like in a minute and and grade your own and then let us know your score okay number one true or false in Eden Adam and Eve trespassed by taking dominion instead of stewardship false false, false. Ownership, not dominion. He gave dominion. Yeah. You took that. Uh, yeah. So you, number one is false. False. Number two. Yeah. Fill in the blanks. Purpose is who I am. Passion is a hint to purpose. Vision is why. And mission is what I do. All right. <laughs> Number three is multiple choice. Uh, the biblical word for pro through to his call is right. promise, order. calling, order, or none of the above. Order. order. It is order. C. No. Yeah, C, C. Okay. So far, you all are. <laughs> got a, Wow. All right, number four. <laughs> Fill in the blank. A path designed to direct the feet is literally our DNA. 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 All right, number five, true or false, 
A revelation is really just an introduction to another level of success. Mystery. Oh, mystery. 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 All right. Number six, multiple choice, four measures of power. Is it A, B, or C? A. 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 According to character, to stature, to office, and to assignment. I'm yes. <laughs> All right, number seven, true or false, stature of Christ is maturity into what you're doing for God. True or false? Oh, okay. False. Be, it's be, becoming. becoming. Yeah. It's not what you're doing, it's what you're becoming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Number eight, <laughs> true or false, we are born honorable. Yes. False. 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 No, we're born false. with honor. Oh, that's yeah. right. It's a process. But it's a process honorable. to become honorable. 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 Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, number nine. got to put my specs back on. Number nine, fill in the blanks. Prayer, prosuit, pro forward, sight, thinking, or prophetic word is an interconnecting two-way conference, conference call. call. I think I spelled it correctly. Well, that's all right. We know. And number ten. Multiple choice we are A, B, or C, or D? B. 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 By, we are called by name and chosen by response to the name called. Oh, wow. Yes. Amen. Almost. How'd you do out there? I want to award. This is normal. Come on up, honey. This is normal. I want to award the certificates. Wait a minute, of completion for this 12-week course. Now listen, it's not completion for the school. We just finished the first 12-week course. So it's a, a certificate of course completion. Okay. And with this, they can it'll certify um, endorsement to those who seek a reference. And it'll also be availability to college credit through Evangelical Bible College and Seminary. This is what the certificate looks oh, like. Yes. Let me say this too. If your church over there in another country or in this country, if you have a group, business, church, meeting, that you want to just get together and view these classes as a group, it's a great way to do it as well. 